Hello, this recording is for training models. This subject was started in the class and I'm going to finish it in this recording. We have covered most of this chapter. We've uh, covered, we, review, we have reviewed the linear regression problem and uh, we discussed the analytical solution of this problem using the normal function. Then uh, we described the gradient descent algorithm which can be used to solve this problem and other problems. Uh, the gradient descent algorithm finds the optimal solution uh, by following the gradient. The learning rate should be picked carefully. It should not be too small uh, so that we do not uh, take a, a long time to reach the solution and it should not be too large uh, otherwise we will not uh, converge to the uh, solution. Uh, there are two pitfalls for the gradient descent uh, algorithm. Uh, it can get stuck in local minima instead of the global minimum, or it can get stuck in a plateau. Uh, we need feature, good feature scaling before using the gradient descent algorithm. Uh, in order to reach faster, the features should be normalized, not like this. The scale of one feature is larger than the scale of another feature. Uh, there are three main variants of the gradient descent algorithm. The batch gradient descent, in the batch gradient descent, each step, in each step, the entire training batch is used. In the stochastic gradient descent algorithm, uh, it picks a random instance from the training set uh, at every step. And the mini batch gradient descent algorithm computes the gradients on a small random sets of the training set. Now to the learning curves. The accuracy on the validation set generally increases as the training set size increases. Uh, in this example, here we have uh, uh, variable training set size, and this is the uh, RMSE error, and we notice that uh, as the uh, training set size increases, the uh, validation, the uh, error on the validation set generally decreases. Lower is better. So usually when you increase the training set, you will get better validation error. Um, but the overfitting decree and overfitting decreases with larger training set here we have complete overfitting uh, the error is there is zero because the training set is very small the model memorizes all the training set and uh, we get zero error as the training set increases the error increases uh, sharply uh, in the beginning because the model now does not memorize the uh, entire training set. Now for early stopping. Uh, many machine learning algorithms are iterative. For example, neural networks are 
trained epoch after epoch on the training set and sometimes we uh, train them on many and sometimes hundreds of epochs generally the uh, error decreases or the accuracy increases with time with epoch after epoch um, in many cases the training set decreases sharply and sometimes the uh, the error can reach zero uh, some large models some large neural networks can uh, remember all the uh, all the training set and uh, uh, give uh, zero error on the training set uh, for the validation set the error decreases as training progresses until some point where it reaches the minimum for us this is the best model after this epoch after this point further training uh, improves the error on the training set but there is overfitting and we don't get similar uh, improvement on the validation set uh, you ju we should stop uh, training when the error on the validation set stops to improve or starts to to increase so stop training when the validation error reaches a minimum of course in order to find this best model we need to to keep training and checking the accuracy and after some time if there is no improvement then we stop uh, training and we we should have saved the parameters of the best model so we need to save the best model because we usually stop at this point and we need to use the model parameters from this point this is the end of this uh, chapter I'm suggesting that you solve these three exercises and this is the end of this recording.